Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 as friends. Yes, today the plan is to just rush little hunt hunt and then just destroy Germany. You see, pretty simple, yes? Yes, also we'll probably fight Russia, so that's gonna be a whole bunch of fun. But yeah, let's get right into it. Like, I'll just rush the little untaunt and just try to get the... Yeah, the... the wait, where's the... Get rid of the... Yeah, <laughs> I think this is... Yeah, this is the one that gets rid of this joint of the government. Yeah. Oh, no. Anyway, issue a diplomatic objection. <laughs> nice, I just got early mobilization through an event. Hey, the little Entente has been founded. Let's go, Czechoslovakia, France, Yugoslavia, Romania, Poland, and all the rest of us combined together forever. Best friends, yeah. Hey, Poland joined as well. Little by little, we'll have entire Eastern Europe. Hey, Yugoslavia joined as well. Little by little, we shall become a very strong faction, yes? Yes. No, oh, Turkey, you ain't getting shit. Imagine if this somehow leads to war with Hungary. That would be so funny. Please lead to war with Hungary. Who needs the allies when you got the French on taunt, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yo, 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 yo. We couldn't... You. I'm gonna issue the ultimate... Fuck yeah, let's go. Honestly, I hope the Czechs reject. I truly do hope they have that option. Ah shit, it happened. It happened, it's time. It's time to go, 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 go. <laughs> As you can see, the initial offensive will be okay. Beam, bada, boom, first is circlement of the war is here. It's kind of sad to think about it. France could have prevented World War II if only they did the same exact thing as I did. Yeah. <laughs> like the fact that everywhere we're pushing. Yugoslavia, they're pushing. Czechoslovakia, pushing. France, well, we're obviously pushing. Meanwhile, Poland just getting pushed back. <laughs> just feels like they can't ever catch a break. It's really funny how I'm just encircling German tank divisions. Honestly, this one would be pretty pock champ as well. Guys, I'm telling you, German tank divisions... Well, France is their kryptonite, apparently. Wait, Hitler assassinated? Bruh. This is the second encirclement I did that are actually... Well, German infantry division. The first one obviously being here. Oh. Did... Uh, we and the Czechs just create, well, also Yugoslavia. One of the biggest encirclements imaginable. Yo. This is on the verge of being absurd. Polish troops are outside of Berlin. Where have you seen that? Listen, all I'll say is that half of my playthroughs, well, more than half, I would say, I would go as far as to say that, yes. They just feel like some very cursed alternate timeline made by, like, very specific fanboys, you know? Yeah. I just did a double one circle. Well, everybody be fighting. Was it Americans who were could have gone to Berlin first? Well, it was the Soviets. Well, now you know the actual truth. It's the French. We didn't even have to capture Berlin. Honestly, we did good. Like, we do control basically all of Western Germany. The eastern part, well, yeah, you can see what happened. For some reason, they still control Vienna, but eh, it's the best we can do right now. The Soviets, let's go. <laughs> Guarantee independence of Latvia. And then just wait for them to declare war on Poland and just go... Nyum encircle them in Estonia and here in Ukraine and just blitz to Moscow. Wait, what? Germany declared war on us. I repeat, Germany, democratic Germany, mind you, declared war on us. What? <laughs> who, have, who could have seen this one coming, eh, buddies? Yeah, cause, exactly, everybody. But what? Okay, Poland got declared war on by the Soviets. So we're gonna go to defend Poland. We will also invite Lithuania to our faction, because why not? And yeah. There we go, we're at war with the Soviets now. Finally. Eh. Logically, of course. Oh no, Berlin has fallen the second time. This not to Poland and Czechoslovakia, surprisingly enough. Oh, I did do a nice little encirclement here. And one at Odessa. But I think overall we're just gonna hold now. Another encirclement. Honestly, fighting the Soviets is like an encirclement simulator. Yeah. 
hungry and Italy need a vibe check. Really. Trust me, bros, trust me. Like how I just, I just encircled half of it, the Italian army in Libya. It's hungry capitulated. I just don't care for it. You know what, we could... Can I? No, no puppets. Eh. I'm just gonna take Northern Hungary. Screw it. Any other takers? No? Okay, I'm gonna take Western Hungary. Let's do it. <laughs> nice. So at this point, we're gonna just destroy this pocket here. Otherwise, we're gonna push through Italy. We already have Rome, which I'm kind of surprised that the, like, thingy majingy where Italy splits into hasn't happened yet, but yeah. I think I think we're slowly making a comeback here in Central Europe. We have pretty much won in Italy, like most of their forces have been surrounded and well, they're being beaten back, okay. Italy decided to have a civil war and because of it they instantly capitulated, so yeah, I see this as an absolute win. As the meme goes. Okay, Germany capitulated as well, so now all I have to do is clean up these pockets of Soviet soldiers and then just put all of my soldiers on the Eastern Front and just capitulate them. Not much more work to be done, eh? You know it's fun to in like kill all the Soviet s stragglers. <laughs> yeah, I think think the wars about it turn way in our favor. I just and I'm talking about like just pushing into Russia proper. Yeah. Let's just go straight to Russia. Like, enough messing around. Let's just do it. Okay, okay, okay. I know this will sound like heresy, but I ha I don't know why, but I just have a feeling Russia might run out of manpower. I know, I know, it's heresy. Russia running out of manpower. What? What is that? But that's, that's what you call the French uh, steamroller. Yeah. We have already taken the landing right. We're close to Moscow, we're encroaching on Stalingrad, like, how much more successful can we be? Like, the Soviets are, all, are almost already 50% capitulated. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna state the obvious. GG easy go next? Honestly, at this point, I'm just waiting for the war to end. Like, we're at the last 25%. We captured Stalingrad, Sevastopol, Minsk, Kiev, um, what's it called, Moscow. And Leningrad, so yeah, it's just about getting those last victory points in this area, I guess. Hopefully, please. Oh my god, it's finally over. The, the, I guess the third world war? I'm not sure at this point, I stopped counting way too soon. And with the peace conference concluded, the war is over. As you can see, I took, I took a bit of Siberia, just a bit. Something from Germany, and yeah, that's that's about it. Also, Italy. Love the color. Reminds me of EU4. It's perfect. Stay this color. Okay? Okay? Yeah, thank you. But anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you had fun watching it. And yeah, have a nice rest of your day. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.